2007, BBC News reported on the intention of Sir Tom Hunter, Scotland's richest man, to give away at least $1 billion to charity. The donation was reported to be the single most generous philanthropic commitment ever made by a Briton. He had already committed 100 million pounds sterling to his charitable foundation to fight inequality in both Scotland and Africa. He was quoted as saying, there is more wealth in fewer hands than ever before in history. My own personal belief is that with great wealth comes great responsibility. Here is Sir Tom speaking for himself. I want to make a billion pounds and put a billion pounds into our charitable foundation while I'm still alive. Why, you know, why do the Victorians didn't wait till you're dead, you know? I'm having the time of my life doing what I'm doing. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty selfish, you know? Why wait until I'm dead and give someone else the fun? I want to have the fun now. The Tom Hunter's mansion is a short helicopter ride from Glasgow Airport. It's so private that we can't show you the gated exterior. The grounds are pleasant enough though. A far cry from the modest home he was born in. I was brought up in a little village in Scotland which was a mining town and my dad was a local grocer. So I guess my education started pretty early because round the dinner table business was what was taught and I was working in the shop from age six or something and I just loved it and I suppose I learned at my father's apron. And Sir Tom has come to love his new role and has identified the guidelines for his philanthropic and other investing. Treat philanthropy as a business, be organized in your giving. Invest in your team and learn from them. Develop a dialogue with experienced people on the ground. Leverage your money. Get others to back your causes. Use performance indicators. Don't give money and move on. Failure is a lesson learned. Society needs to move forward. He exemplifies the new philanthropist, not coming from wealth, but creating wealth. Not just giving money away, but directing the framework for its use. It is part of his dream. 